Hey guys, Coach Kev from Structure Personal Fitness filming a very caffeinated uh, 10 simple truths um, about fitness. And uh, before I go any further, make sure you watch videos number one through four um, to make sure you understand why I've crossed out uh, that uh, punishment, pain, lazy, and money. Um, and then we'll get to number five. Number five, um, this is a very touchy topic because uh, the fitness industry and other industries itself have responded um, somewhat positively, but mostly negatively to this, this concept of um, fitspo or fitspiration or fit yourself thin, all this other stuff um, regarding uh, inspiration. And one of the things about um, inspiration is that we have to differentiate uh, inspiration versus aspiration. Um, and so I think the thing about inspiration that's cool is that it may inspire you to, let's say, um, uh, take an action that you wouldn't have done before. Um, the problem with it is that it, it's, it's not always long lasting. So what we recommend is to think about the difference between aspiration and inspiration. Whereas aspiration is that, that, that what do I want to be when I grow up? Not insp inspiration. I was, I was inspired to, uh, you know, be this when I grow up. Um, so understanding the difference between the two and noticing that um, the, the, the whole concept of what's next is, for, is, is a concept uh, not just popularized by um, uh, President Bartlett on West Wing, um, nerd alert, uh, but it's more this concept of what's next for me. If I aspire to do a chin-up and I've never done a chin-up, now I cross that chin-up line, X, cross it off. Now I've done it. Now what? I can aspire to, to do it two times my body weight and deadlift. I can aspire to do a half marathon. I can aspire to do a marathon, uh, to do a urban athlon. Uh, here at Structure, we're doing an urban athlon. Um, but one of the things I think people focus on too much is this whole inspiration of paying attention to other people half naked in uh, um, you know a bikini or um, in uh, board shorts. And for most people, that's actually a turnoff because they, they're there. Um, that's like when you're playing Mario Brothers um, and you, you, you don't play Bowser on round one or level, level one. You, you have to, it's a long way to play um, Bowser. For most people, going to, um, to play Bowser is the, is the bait, but a lot of people won't sit down and play because it's, t it's, too many, it's too much time to get to Bowser. And I think for a fitness standpoint, putting up a half-naked picture of somebody is uh, sometimes A, too intimidating, B, um, almost um, negatively inspirational in the fact that they're, they're going to tell you this. Well, I could never do that, right? And so that's the concept of aspiration versus inspiration. Comparing yourself to yourself and comparing um, versus comparing yourself to others. There's an old expression, compare yourself to self, get better. Compare yourself to others, get bitter. And I think that's one of the different things um, that we like to focus on is um, what else can you do? What's next for you um, to, to push yourself to the limit um, that you've uh, never known uh, versus uh, partaking in something um, uh, comparing yourself to somebody else, uh, there's just really no place for that. So the last, the, the number five, the thing that I'm gonna cross off is inspiration. Um, we don't believe in inspiration. Uh, I think aspiration is the key here. Focus on what you aspire to do, what you aspire to accomplish, uh, and put that on your list of things to do versus inspiration. Um, and I think you'll find yourself in a better place from a fitness standpoint.